I promise you I wouldn't read any of my own poetry. It's about 30 years old anyway. But I'm very honoured indeed to read a poem by John Kinsella. John Kinsella is a wonderful conservationist. He writes poetry about this place and our place in it. His words are always inspiring, sometimes a little depressing. And this poem, and it makes reference to one of the earlier songs, is the bulldozer poem. The bulldozer poem. John asked me if I would read it, and I said I'd be honoured to. I hope you'll forgive the mangling that goes on here. Bulldozers rend flesh. Bulldozers make devils of good people. Bulldozers are compelled to do as they're told. Bulldozers grimace when they tear the earth's skin. From earth they came. Bulldozers are made by people who also want new mobile phones to play games on and to feed families. Bulldozers are observers of phenomena. Decisions are taken out of their hands. They are full of perceptions. They will hear our pleas and struggle against their masters. Bulldozers slice and dice. Bulldozers tenderize. Bulldozers reshape the sandpit, making grrrring noises. Kids motor skills. Bulldozers slice the snake in half so it chases its own tail, writing in front of its face. Bulldozers are vigorous percussionists, sounding the snap and boom of hollows caving in. Feathers of the cockatoos, a whisper in the roar. Bulldozers deny the existence of ether, though they know deep down in their pistons, deep in their levers, that all is spheres and heavens, and voices of ancestors worry at their peace. Bulldozers recognise final causes and embrace outcomes that put them out of work. There's always more scrub to delete, surely, surely. Oh, continuous track tractor, O, S and U blades, each to his orders, his skill set. Communal as D9 dozers, whose buckets uplift to asteroids waiting to be quarried. Oh, bulldozer, your history. Oh, those whole tractors working the paddocks. By the first slow tanks crushing the battlefield. The interconnectedness of being, philosopher. Oh, your makers, Cummings and Caterpillar. Oh, great cat. We grew up in their thrall, whether we knew it or not. Playing sports where the woodlands grew, where you rode in after the great trees had been removed. You innovate and flatten. We know your worldliness, working with companies to make a world of endless horizons. It's a team effort excoriating an ecosystem. Not even you can tackle an old growth tall tree alone. But we know your power, your pedigree, your sheer bloody mindedness. Sorry, forgive us, we should keep this civil o dozer. In you is a cosmology. We've yelled the names of bandicoots and possums, of kangaroos and echidnas, of honey eaters and the day sleeping tawny frogmouth you kill in its silence. And now we stand before you supplicant and yet resistant, asking you to hear us over your war cry, over your work ethic being played for all it's worth. Hear us, hear me. Don't laugh at our bathos, take us seriously. Forgive our inarticulateness, our scrabbling for words as you crush us, the world as we know it, the hands that fed you, that made you. Listen not to those officials who have taken advantage of their position, who have turned their officers to hate, to hate the world and smile kissing the tiny hands of babies that can barely hear as your engines roar with power. But you don't see the exquisite colour of the world, Bulldozer. Green is your irritant. We understand, Bulldozer, we do. It's fear that compels you, rippling through eternity, embracing the inorganics of modernity. Thank you.